Hey, what's going on, my viewers? My name's PGP. Welcome to the channel. And today, obviously, you can see I've got a load of handhelds in front of me. And what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about the next handheld that I would like to see Evercade, you know, work out some emulation for to bring games to the platform. Now, obviously, as you can see, we've got a Nintendo DSi, uh, PS Vita, PSP, Nintendo Switch Lite, a Game Boy Advance SP, and an Evercade handheld. Now, obviously, as we know. The Evercade is not going to be able to emulate any of these systems besides to Game Boy Advance SP. Because we do know there are a few Game Boy Advance games that do run on Evercade. One of the games being Worms Blast on the Worms Collection. But, that's it. Because obviously all these other systems are too powerful. They're a lot more recent, so they're probably a lot more, you know, harder to emulate. Due to, like, with obviously the Switch, the Vita and the DS and obviously touch controls and all that sort of stuff. When it comes down to other handhelds, I'd like to see players and make deals to emulate games from. There's actually quite a few that I think would be quite good because obviously we've had a several Atari Lynx collections. So what I would like is I'd like um, I'd kind of like Blaze make some deals to get some Sega game, game Gear games on Evercade. Now I know obviously a majority of oh, quite a few of the big name Sega, Sega Game Gear games are obviously made by Sega and owned by Sega. So it might be a lot harder to get hold of, but they might be able to get some, you know, maybe some homebrews that are made for the Sega Game Gear or something, because, you know, it's not like the Game Gear is too powerful to, for the Evercade to run, because the Evercade can run the Lynx, because obviously Game Boy Advance is more powerful than Game Gear. It's not like they don't have the buttons and the controls to be able to work on, because they can just, you know, because I think the Game Gear is like three, uh, six buttons on the face of the device and the D-pad, so they can just switch to the buttons to be the shoulder buttons. So they could run. Another system I'd like to see um, uh, uh, Blaze and work on to emulate for the Evercade would be the Neo Geo Pocket. Now, this is quite a simple one. I mean, obviously, you need to get SNK on board to emulate these games and get these games on Evercade, but I think they would be more than willing to make a deal because you can get SNK games on basically anything. You can get only Samsung Fridge at this point. Emulating these Neo Geo Pocket games would be really great because obviously these games are designed to be played portably. You know, and getting these portable games on a portable handheld as well as being able to blow them up on uh, VS to play on TV against friends and whatnot would be actually really great. Now, there's one other one other um, handheld I think would be pretty great for Blaze to get a, get the right to emulate, and that would just simply be the Bandai Wonder Swan. Now we know that you know Blaze has previous well, has made agreements with uh, Bandai Namco in the past. Because they've licensed a few games from Namco. For Evercade, obviously, I don't think you can buy those cartridges anymore. I think they've uh, finished their run. But I'm certain Blaze can, you know, go to Bandai, or Bandai Namco, and make a deal to allow them to emulate some of the Bandai Namco games that were released on the Bandai Wonder Swan. You know, the Wonder Swan was, made, was actually designed by the original uh, designer of the Game Boy. So it just makes sense being able to play Game Boy games and Wonder Swan games on the same system. You know, and having these games all available on Evercade in these physical cartridges where you know you can collect them, you know, and you can just play them on either the handheld or the VS would be a good get for many collectors and many collectors that can't afford to track down all these old retro systems because let's be frank, there's quite a few of them now. You know, there's quite a few uh handhelds on the market that are off the market handhelds which you know haven't been on sale for years. And obviously all basically all these systems I have here Besides the Switch Lite and Evergate handheld, will will handhelds I procured second hand from you know various different uh, retailers, trading shops. You know, I never, I'm not none of these other handhelds besides the, the Switch Lite and the Evergate handheld are so I bought. You know, went on release, so I've kind of inherited these sort of things from other companies. I mean, the PSP, for instance, only cost me thirty quid and came with Tekken, so I was down for that. But yeah, and. What Evercade can do is Evercade can kind of push themselves, sort of be like, hey, we want to have games from portable consoles, home consoles, and arcades. Because right? the arcades is obviously a huge thing for Evercade, a huge get, and that's obviously what they need to do. But getting some of these more obscure like games for handhelds would be kind of huge as well, because you know, many people might want to play some of these older SNK games that were released on Neo Geo Pocket. But never release on other platforms. You know, people might want to.
play games from the Bandai One One's one, which you know, as far as I know, they've never re-released those games. People and people probably want to play some more of those Sega Gen Sega Game Gear games that you know came out in the eighties and nineties, but were never ported to modern consoles. Because one big thing, like in the world of Game Gear, one big group I have gripe right, I've had with Sega for years. Is they only seem to worry about Genesis games. Genesis and Mega Drive games are the only games they haven't seemed to port to other consoles or re release. So if Blaze can make a deal with Sega to release some of their old Game Gear games, that would be pretty amazing. But obviously, that's a pipe dream. We don't know if Sega's ever going to support Evercade as a platform. So you can, we can all just hope for that. But yeah, personally, to me, I kind of hope Blaze do. Make a deal to get even uh, near Zero Pocket games, uh, Sega Game Gear games, or Bandai One Swan games. You know, there are some other smaller, less known handhelds that have kind of come around, like, around the same sort of time, but I mean, they're the main ones, they're the main ones we know, you know, that Blaze can probably emulate, uh, to put it frankly, because we all know anything after like the Game Boy Advance is probably a lot more harder for Blaze to emulate due to technological issues comparing. I'll take the DS for instance, DS is like mostly touchscreen based and the Evercade handheld does not have a touchscreen and if you try to port those games to the DS you, there's no touchscreen on the DS so you can't really emulate those games but that's sort of big thing where Blaze could just kind of become a hub for these obscure handheld classics and just bring those games to you know the uh, handheld and the DS you know and make them available to new gamers and new collectors who don't want to fork out hundreds on the second market games you know because some of these games are you know are well, basically because of the lost media you know if someone doesn't start making deals to re-release them and i feel like blazer could do a big thing grab grab a load of the grab a load of the rights to some of these games put them on a cartridge i don't know depending on how expensive it is to emulate the cartridges or whatever they do what i don't know two to twenty games on a cartridge so they do it with some Game Gear games, some Game Boy, some Game Boy games if they can get Game Boy games. Uh, Game Boy Advance, uh, Banner Wonder Swan, you know, more Atari Lynx, you know. Just keep put, pumping it up with all these games from these platforms. And then basically, boom, you've got a huge new market. Because remember, right, we have a lot of these handheld games that were released on these handheld consoles. They weren't marketed the same way home console games were marketed you know a lot, of, a lot of these games like the game boy for instance right was marketed as as like a cheaper entry point to a nintendo console but it wasn't the super nintendo you know because super nintendo is more expensive and just bigger console the game boy is just in the portable console so getting some of these more smaller games as well you could probably get more of them on a cartridge than you could uh, your standard games that were released on a super nintendo you know playstation one that sort of stuff. Anyway, guys, let me know your let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Is there any handheld consoles that you want Blaze to emulate for the Evercade? And if so, which ones? You know, and if so, what games you want to emulate? Because you know, there's a huge lineup of games from many different consoles that Blaze could emulate if they got the, if they was able to emulate it. Anyway, guys, I'm PGP and I'm signing off. Peace.